Hi, I'm Joe Broxel from Denny Embedded, and today I'm going to demonstrate the Gumsticks Overo and TI Pico being used as a network projector running Windows Embedded CE 6.0. This demonstration is done using the Adenio Embedded Windows CE Reference VSP and Gumsticks Overo platform. For more information on this VSP, you can go to the Adenio Embedded or Gumsticks website listed at the end of this demo. Here you can see a Gumsticks Overo water module and an SD card. I'm going to insert the micro SD card into the Overo module and now I'm going to connect it to the Toby carrier board. Next, I'm going to attach the HDMI cable from the Toby board to the TI Pico projector. Also, I'll connect it to our corporate network here in the building and apply power to each. Now the SD card that I put in has the Windows CE image on it that we'll be booting to. There's no actual need to flash it into uh, NAND on the device, but you can do that also if you like. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the projector, and we'll take a look at the wall here. I have to dim the lights for this part. Now, we can see that the projector has come up, and it lists a name for the projector, a password to connect to it, as well as a URL. Now remember, the projector itself is running Windows CE on the Gumsticks board. What we can do now is we can use a Windows 7 or a Windows Vista laptop or desktop machine and redirect the screen on that computer to this Windows CE device. Now I've turned on my Windows 7 laptop. It's connected to our corporate wireless network. In order to allow it to connect to the network projector running Windows CE, I just need to run an application that's installed by default with both Windows Vista and Windows 7, connect to a network projector. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll just type connect here, and it pops up. Now here it gives two options. I can either search for a network projector, or I can enter the network address. Now the network address I showed you before is that URL that's specified on the projection screen right now. In this case, we're just going to choose search. We'll search for a moment, and it pops up with a Denio projector. Once I select that, I still need to enter the password for this projector and the password is shown on the projector screen. Let me go ahead and type that in. <laughs> now once I click connect, the network projector is going to connect back to my Windows 7 laptop using RDP, a remote desktop protocol. Because the, the uh, DLP Pico kit from TI is limited to 640 by 480, that's all we can do with the projector in this case. But that's okay. Windows 7 will automatically set the resolution for us. So let me go ahead and click Connect. You can see the screen resolution on my laptop change. And let me confirm. In a moment, we should see the projection screen begin to mirror the screen on my laptop. Okay, we can see that the resolution has changed and my background went away because it's actually a little too low of resolution. But here, you can see when I move the mouse on my laptop, it also moves it on the projector. 
If I click the start menu, it pops up. You can see it's pretty responsive. I'll go ahead and start up a PowerPoint slide. Now I can go ahead and I can tell it to run the sli slides at full screen. And there we have it. The Windows CE network projector is successfully connected to my Windows 7 laptop and able to mirror the display. Now keep in mind, currently there are no wires attached to my Windows 7 laptop. It's connected to the network over wireless and I'm running off battery. Change slides. And see that everything is working fine. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. If you have questions about this presentation or want more information about the Adenio Embedded BSP for Gumsticks Overo, please contact me at jbroxon, B R O X S O N, at adenio embedded.com. If you want more information about Adenio Embedded, solutions and services for Windows Embedded, you can check our website, http www.adenio-embedded.com, or contact our sales team at sales at adenio-embedded.com. Thank you.